how, how would you explain to a patient, like if someone comes in to see you, you, you know, choose to inject, you know, between the two of you decide, okay, I'm going to, you know, do some prolotherapy, I'm going to do some PRP. Um, and then they come back and say, Hey doc, my knee's feeling better. How, how would you explain to them like why their knee is feeling better in all? Like, yeah. Better? Yeah. Good question. So I think probably the, the, the avenue that I tend to take is that, you know, when, when we do these injections, we are re-stimulating a new healing response. So the body's going to go through the inflammatory response first. And so that's important to tell patients before the injection, because, you know, if they're not told, Hey, you're going to be sore for three to five days afterwards, they're like, wait a minute, why am I, why am I worse? This didn't happen with a steroid injection. So we go through that inflammatory response and then they get the tissue remodeling and, and collagen deposition and things like that. And in that process, we are going to get some structural improvements in the tendon, the ligament, the joint, things like that. And some of the, some of the stem cells that get recruited to the area. So when we do prolo or we do PRP, there's evidence to show that we're getting migration of local stem cells into that area that are naturally already present in the body. Those can secrete different growth factors and signaling molecules that, actually, that can help to modulate inflammation in that area. And so we can get a reduction in inflammation. But I think a combination of this, you know, this biological reduction in inflammation, as opposed to just a suppression of inflammation that we see with NSAIDs, corticosteroids, things like that, along with actually improving the tissue integrity. So, you know, we're improving the stability of the ligament, we're reducing or eliminating some of that tendinosis that can occur. Those things there, the brain is now going to register, hey, there, there's less damage, there's less stimulus coming from this tissue. So I can downregulate those pain signals that the brain is interpreting. Great. 